you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce a figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection now when you are drawing isometric you need to draw your isometric axis that is your axis inclined at what at 30 degree so we have this inclined at 30 degree and I place it this way also inclined at 30 degree you can see that then this can represent either the length or the width the same as this also then we need something that represents the height so it will be at 90 degree to represent what the height you can see that now since we have successfully done that you discover that you need to get the entire length and the entire width or the entire width and the entire length including what the entire height now if i start from the height the total height in this figure is from here to here right and that is 30 and which is from this point to somewhere around this point here so i'm going to measure 30 using my meter rule i will take this point of intersection where the three lines are meeting as my reference point zero and i'm going to start measuring from zero the height is what 30 so from here to this point here is giving us 30 you can see that so my 30 is at this height here similarly we have to get the entire width that means from here to this point is the addition of all these values here which is 10 plus 20 plus 10 and that is 40 so i'm going to plus that is 40 including this 10 here right so if you look at that from this point to this point is the same as this point to this point which is 40 10 plus an addition what addition 10 and that is what 50 so i'm going to measure 50 from this point here i'll measure 50 from here so from 0 to 5 is 50 so that is that aspect there is that again now um the next thing i'm going to do is to measure the entire length here and that's given as what as 40 which is from this point to this point here so i'm going to measure 40. you can see that so that is 40. now the next thing i'm going to do i am going to project this point up so i'll project this point up I project this each of those points I project them up and I project this each of this point I project them up you can see that so this is what we have now I need to make them form a complete box so what I will do at this point what I did here by drawing my inclined axis I also do it here place it this way and taking that point as my reference point I'll draw a line that's going to connect this to this and I'll also draw another line that's going to connect this to this you can see that and I'll come here also I'll do the same thing draw a line from this point to this and I'll also draw another line at this point to this So I brought out this box, so I would love to zoom it out a bit, so we are going to understand what we are actually trying to accomplish, right? So this is the entire box that we have in here. You can see that. So I'm making it more visible. So in doing this, I will start bringing out my drawings right so this is what we have now if you discover that 
from this point to this point is from here to here and I'm going to thicken it just to save our time so thicken this you can see that now if you look closely again from this point to this point is this point somewhere around here and it's thickened and I'm going to also thicken it this way you can see that now similarly from here to here is given as 10 which is from here to somewhere around here so I'm going to measure 10 at that point so that we will to what to thicken it so this is from 0 to 1 is 10 you can see that and I'll thicken it now similarly from here to here is from here to somewhere around here which is ticking so with the help of my set square right with the help of my set square I'm going to position it up and I'll take it down you can see that and from here to here is also from here to here and that is ticking I am going to thicken it also at this point You can see that now if you look at it this from this point to this point is going in which is from here to somewhere around here going in and if you want to draw anything at an angle or an inclined line it should be in 30 degrees so when i place this in this direction i'll come to this point and i'll draw a line that will go in i also come here also here going in so i'm going to measure if you look at from here to here is from the distances from here to here and that is what 10 right so I'm going to measure 10 from here inward so this is uh, 10 now taking it this is taking the equation right and I'll use my set square and my t square and I'll take this up So this point from here to here is from here to here in the question and that is what is ticking now from this point to this point is from this point to this point here I will also ticking it you can see that now from here to here right is from here to somewhere around here and I'll just draw my lines is at, a, at an angle. I'll place my set square on my t square. I'll just draw, draw a line this way. And the distance is given as what? 20. So I'm going to measure 20 on that line. Right? So from 0 to 2, given to be 20. And I'm going to what? I'm going to thicken it. You can see that and from here to here is from here to somewhere around here and it was also it's a it's an angle so i'm going to place my set square this way to draw it at an angle so it will be touching this point here which is also 10. why well, i'm not measuring because i've already drawn out the entire length here right so it's touching they are on the same line now the next thing is from here to here is from here to somewhere around here so I use my vertical line to connect that point there in this manner this way I see that so that is the height is what the entire height now similarly from here to this point is from here to somewhere around here and I'm going to thicken it with my set square at an angle just remember anything that you are drawing should be at an angle of what 30 degree you can see that now similarly from here to here is 10 which is from here to somewhere around here so I'll measure 10 so let's measure the 10 and see 0 to this point here given as 10 you can see that
that again and from here to here it's from here to somewhere around here now use my set square and take that point up this way you can see that and from here to here is from here to here right so i'm going to do the same thing here i'll take in it you see that now the next thing i'm going to do is from this point to this point is from this point to somewhere around here and i'll use my set square to connect those two points together this way right and from this point to this point is from this point somewhere around here and i'm going to join it together those two lines with my thick line you can see that now similarly from here to here right it's from somewhere to somewhere around here so i'll just do it first of all I'm going to use a faint line this way, taking it in, right, and I'm going to measure, and I'll bring another line here, taking it in down here this way. Is that again? So when I've done that, I discover that from this point to this point is 20, so I'm going to measure 20 from here to here. So let's measure 20, first of all, in. So this is 20 right so it means that from here to here is from here to somewhere around here i am going to thicken it right and from here to here is from here to somewhere around here i'll use my set square to connect it so from this point to this point right and the height from here to here is 15, which is, is from here to somewhere around here, 15. So I'll measure the 15. From 0 to 15. Right. And I should be able to thicken it. Because it is thickened there. Right. And I'll close it up. This way. Because from here to here it's from here to somewhere around here which is sticking so i'll take in it right i will also stick in from here to here it's from here to here i also take in it right and taking my set square i'll project this point up right I'm going to what project this point up this to come up this way faint line and this should come up this way so I'll just connect from here to somewhere around here right as shown in diagram you can see that that is from here to here similarly from here to here is from here to somewhere around here I'm going to connect it And from here to here, it's from here to somewhere around here, and I'm going to connect it also. Right. Okay, let's just move there and see. At this point. So, so I'll just connect this to this point. And this will come here right so we'll just take this and um, let's close it up see that then I also just close all this place up as shown in diagram too and here too you can see that so we have successfully reproduced that figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen in what 
in isometric projection right if you discover everything you see here is at an angle of what 30 degree and 90 degree so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video thanks for watching